set creation goes to the blue side Evo SG sa kanila man ang red side at ang two picks na pagkasunod Honestly, Evo SG if they don't ban out Ling in this phase medyo ano medyo parang pinaril ni Lay Sarili nila sa pa Execration they still looking like they're playing against Blacklist International but that is to be forgiven knowing na again Evo SG adapted a lot uy hindi na nice speed tong uy pero bakit sa atin nanonood si ano si SG Wow, okay, ibang ibang team, yun, ibang team. Yun. Oh, it's <laughs> ibang team ba yun? Oh, ibang team. Yun. Oh, okay. They still ban out the glue. He was SG respecting the uh, the hero pool of Execration. But remember, Execration their first pick. And daming first pick material ni Execration. There's the Lunox, there's the Selina, there's the Kufra, and there's also the Benedetta. Ooh. And looking at the bans right now, no, it was SG Execration. As you said earlier, midnight. Talaga, they're looking towards the same type of bans. And feeling ko ah, it was SG. They're still quite confident on how they drafted in first game. Alam nila that it should have worked out for them, pero hindi ko mana. They're still sticking to what worked at least on the most part. And maybe adjust yung mga konting micro play na nagkamali sila. Na mamaya pa natin may kita. Execution. Tatangkilin nila ulit ang matinda. This is very much identical sa first game bans natin for execution. Yeah, yun yung ano yun yung sinasabi natin kaniyan na sobra typical nito for execution that they opt to ban out matinda as last. Kasi tinitig nila nila yung viable options, especially when they're second pick. Talagang hindi nila pinapakita yung Matilda ban kasi they want to pressure the first pick team to pick up the Matilda. Now, they're on the first pick. They're telling Evo's SG na wala kaming balak mag-Matilda like ever, like legit, no? Kasi, ang, again, ang mga first pick materials dito for Exe is Selena's, Lunox, uh, okay, there you go. The, the Eve ban, Evo's SG opted to ban out the Eve. This is probably a Selena first pick for execration. Mm -hmm. Let's see. First three bands for both teams. Natanggal na nila and execration. Taking their time. Hindi na nagmamadali. Ang daming options to open. You still have the Benedetta. You, still, you even have a Jawhead. You can even pick a Kufra if you want to. Ang dami talagang pwede. Well, for the side of Evo's SG, para sa akin, napaka-familiar na opponent yung ganitong drafting na ginagawa ng execration. It's like you drafted for your grand finals. Para sa ito, execration. And execration, feeling ko nga pwede pa nilang ilabas. May, sa tingin nyo ba may ilalabas pa silang paint para amis dito? <laughs> pag, I mean, pag nag first pick sila, sila pa, ah, ay, hindi, hindi. Mukhang ilalabas nila ang Johel. Magkakaroon ba ng seminar dito si Chak no, kung paano mag Johel? And execration, they definitely go for aggressive playstyle. And ito, napaka-aggressive head especially if early game ang usapan. Kanina nga lang do, midnight, Tifos SG, they got the Jawhead pero hindi tayo nakikita ng aggressive rotations from Tifos SG. They used that of Jawhead a little bit defensively at talagang nag-go-go lang sila for skirmishes on actual big fights. Well, again, that's the problem of facing uh, a Grok as a Jawhead. You can't literally uh, make any uh, offensive moves uh, without a flicker kasi yun lang yung option mo na no, mag-flicker kaya hanapin mo yung target sa likod ni Grok then try to take down that target. Kasi nga, ang ginagawa lang ni Chakto is para sa team dito. Now, I like the Jawhead first pick from Execration. This is them understanding that Evo's SG, or Singapore in general, doesn't really pick the Selena on the first two picks. Lagi nilang tinatert pick Selena or banned on the second phase. So they opted to go for the Jawhead para makuha nila yung maximized zero pool with Chakto. And they let go of the Granger Benedetta para makuha nila yung Selena. So this is overall good understanding from Execration as to how Singapore likes playing with the two picks on the red side. This is quite scary for the side of Execration. This is the tempo setting heroes na hinahanap ng Execration. If they ever command yung rhythm nga, katulad sinabi natin, if they want to be aggressive, they can. But right now, hero stats ni Harith, it's a 100% oh, okay na. Pwede win na. rate. Pwede na. <laughs> Anong pwede na? Hindi ko nakita. Na. 100% win, na win rate si Harith. Nako eh, syempre, one game pa lang, pero 100%. Four games. One four games. games. One, uh, four games four sa ba? Games. Four games. Bang match for na. <laughs> Ayo nga pala, sorry. Akala ko for this match lang. Pero yeah, 100% win rate on this Harith. Plus, a Selena pick from Eto Max. So, nabanggit ni Butters dito na merong tempo control ang Evo's SG. But for execration, feeling ko, yung tempo control nila, may skill shot lang. Kung baga pag kumagat ang kanilang abyssal arrow o kumagat yung eject sa tamang target, mabibreak nila yung tempo na meron ang Evo's SG. But I love this popular group of pick. Ha? Talagang gusto nilang tapatan ang ipibigay ng Selena. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And Popolet Kupa, Evo's SG, that is going to be their Your pick. Team is and uh, Execration, Lunox naman na kanila tinanggal. Well, for Evo's SG, tinanggal nila 
yung load na pwedeng gamitin ni Kiel VJ. Actually, I like the, no, no. I like the Pokemon Go pick up from Evo SSV. There's no Farza potential anymore as they already saw the Serena and Harith. Now you have to take uh, take out the Lancelot of Kiel VJ. Even if it's not the best assassinate execution has played, it's really good against the lineup of Evo's SG. Your Poplin Koopa, Beledetta, and Granger, napakahirap labanan ng Lancelot if you have these three uh, heroes. Unless they're willing to let go of the Lancelot and pick up something uh, on the sideline, like for example, the Parats. Para lang may ma maximize nila yung, uh, yung fact na pwede kasi i-pick ni Execration yung Selena tsaka Lancelot. So most likely parang, uh, alam mo, tinetelegraph lang ni Evo's SG. Okay, maglalaan si Lina sa XE, ang ganda ng first pick Barat sa akin, sa atin sa second phase. Yeah, and they ban out the Pakito. Ibig sabihin, inopen nila yung sinasabi mong Lancelot and Execration. They ban out the Farsa, even if we, uh, it's more of a reactive. Yep. Kumbaga, ayaw nilang may kalaban yep. na Farsa on Evo's SG side. Now, they have... Actually, a damning options ng execration dito ngayon against Evo's SG. The Selena against the Popolin Koopa alone would be a battle of information. But apart from that, the tempo could easily switch between two teams. The early damage coming in from Granger and Benedetta versus yung early potential na tumama yung mga skill shots nito ni Selena to the follow-up of the Joehead. Again, execration versus Evo's SG based on the first three picks alone. Talagang magiging and ito ano yung term niyo doon yung pag sobrang maaction yung yung bakbakan bakbakan wal balagbagan ng mga action jackson madami hinahanap ko yung term eh kasi mayroong action jackson eh oh, marami ay nila so, oh, ay nila ay like it so, so, lands and uranos and last pick na execution last two picks rather evos sg they go for rafaela which means there is a probability na kumuha na lang sila ng tank sign trainer Kasi nga medyo kulang yung kanilang ano eh, tanking potential. There's two, uh, there's two uh, ways to go about this for USS. Tama yung sinabi ni Badis kanina, tank. Uh, Semi-tank actually, no? like uh, the heroes of uh, Uzo, mm. Mabarat. Uh. Pero one thing that they could go for is they can flex the Benedetta X lane and they can actually go for a Hayabusa gold lane. Wow, that is gonna be a big turn for Evo's SG if ever. But I want to point out the Rafaela pick. I like this Rafaela pick mainly because it answers a lot of the... Oh, wow, they're actually gonna flex the Benedetta, but they're not gonna go for a gold lane Hayabusa. They're gonna go for the Alice instead in the gold lane. Panapat dito kay Ketra. It is a great catch. Madali siyang makapag-zone out ng mga tao sa isa-sarid nila ng mga comfort zone. Specifically, yung mga Zaman Force. And uh, this is going to be interesting. Evo's SG, are they gonna take us to a game number three? But right now, we will introduce the players with their heroes. At puti, hindi tayo papagap sa Land of Dawn. Yung bilog na naman ay lalabas anytime soon. Hindi nyo naman ginawa eh. Ba't yung sakin inaasa lahat? Ay, pasensya na kapatid. Mapasok na tayo sa ating game number two. Ano yan? Ako na play by play. Ako pa sound effects. Ah, syempre. Let's head out to the Celestial Palace for game number two. Na Evo's SG versus Execration. And at na napaka, I think this is standard rotations coming in for the side of Evo's SG. Medyo gusto lang nilang mag maging safe, kumbaga. Tinitikitan na nila si Granger. Alam nila kung ano nangyari ni Game 1. Yeah, you know what? Honestly, I would have preferred the uh, the Esmeralda pick for uh, Evo's SG over the Alice. Because it gets you an it gets you idea. You're against uh, Uranus, but you're also against a Harem. But you're losing match to Kagadian for Evo's SG. Esmeralda was the perfect pick if they want to go that route. No, yung mage uh, side lane na kaya lumaban against Execration. But then again, what uh, what Alice provides for Evo's SG is the constant lane pressure and the mobility factor of the hero. Something that is really important against the likes of Selena's, uh, Lancelot, even the you know, even against the Johan. And Evo's SG right Oy. now, a girl, mukhang babagsak pero very low HP lang pala. Uh, good thing there's a purify dot just to uh, bail himself out. Pero kasi ang papasin mo dito for Evo's SG, dalawang purify na nila ang doubt. And this is gonna be big for execration. Dahil ang first turtle natin ay magsuspawn ng 35 seconds from now at medyo malayo pa ang cooldown ng purifies na yun. It's gonna be a big advantage for execration. Kendra, confidence showing already with that TP. Bino, binabawian ano kanina ng game one. Ah, pinatay mo ako ah. Oh. Look, ngayon lugi ka sa akin sa matchup. Lagot ka sa akin. Pero alam mo, uh, focusing on Evo's SG a bit more dito. Zone. 
He is one mean Benedetta player. Isa to sa mga favorite heroes niya. Oh, Ginamit niya to halos dati. But Soul will just try to get away. Ayaw niya makipagano. Ayaw niya makipagsuntukan. Ma medyo mas mahaba kasi yung spada ni Kill VJ ngayon. Mm -hmm. Medyo mas masakit. Level 4 na rin ang Lancelot na rin sa level 3 Benedetta. So medyo egul talaga. They don't want to go for that fight. Pero Turtle ha, bilis bumagsak. Mabilis talaga bumagsak, Ben. Pero yun, hindi mabilis ang pagba... Hindi... Hindi mabilis. Well, mabilis. Mabilis. mabilis yung sa sobrang bilis nga, akala mo hindi na mabilis. Oo. Oh, eh. Sa sobrang bilis, akala ko hindi na mabilis. Tama yan. But, oh, kill BJ. Nakuha niya yung Turtle. Pero hindi natin nakikita yung box sa baba. So, isipin nyo na lang. Kaya nakakuha niya. Oo oh, nga. And that gives Execration a big gold lead at least for the early game. First Blood plus Turtle. That's an immediate 800 gold lead para sa Execration. Ano kayong gagawin nila dito sa tempo na sa sila yung nag-start? Kumbaga sila yung naglapag ng unang paa sa sayaw na mangyayari in this game. Mm -hmm. And tingnan mo ha, yung pwesto dito na Execration doon sa mapa ng Evo's SG. Masyado silang tapak dito sa may mismong gitna na ng tier 2 at tier 3 turrets. Gusto siya pumunta sa Singapore na rin siya. Nako? Eh, baka nga nasa Poland na doon. Papasok na doon sa inhibit. <laughs> ano gusto pumunta? Di ba nasa Singapore ah, oh, naman? Oo, nga pala, oo nga pala. Okay. Tama naman, oh, tama, tama naman. naman. Okay. Anyway, anyway, dito sa Execration, for the Lance Lord. No? Again, sabi mo kanina na, na sila yung unang umapak dito sa Dance Lord ng Execration. They should. They have a Selina, so they can get, uh, they can they can take resources much faster compared to Evo's SG. And they're also playing Lance Lord. As a, Lance, as a Lancelot in a game, you'd want to establish at least a thousand gold lead. Then you start taking up the resources of the enemy. Kasi kailangan leading ka talaga against the enemy para mag-burst on mo yung mga targets na gusto nyo patay. Ready Soul, ah, magiging target sa may kabila. But Kelra, still alive! Oh, wow! Grabe. Wow! Grabe yun! Ang Grabe. galing ni Kelra dito, humanap ng lusot dun sa rotation ng apat na tao. Apat na... Ibo says she, apat yun. Apat, apat, apat na tao ang iniwasan ni Kelra. Pero they're gonna go for the third instead. At mukhang wala na magagawang execration. Joke lang! <laughs> Naubusan ng minion. Naubusan ng minion indeed, potato. They might just actually give this up. Kasi nandito na si Chak, no? Yeah. Ayaw nila pahuli pa. And uh, si Pokemon dito. Oh! Ano ba? Nasabable force. Funny! Pero look at that arrow. Connection. Chak to Max. Nako. It's gonna be another Pokemon na nahuli. Game 2 na. Gata Kachemol pa rin, brothers. Gata Kachemol, Kenra. Wala na siyang Tore dito, pero he seems to be happy kasi nakakuha siya ng isang kill and never pa siya natitake down kahit may 4-man rotation na naganap. And speaking of 4-man rotations, nakaganti naman ang execration doon sa taas. Actually, ah, habang nangyayari yung 4-man rotation, nagkaroon ng cross-map play si execration, sila pa nakakuha ng kill. It's a turn for a kill at mukhang turtle pa nga makasensecure ng execration dito unless may steal na magaganap pero lance na niya na truthful na. Napakahirap agawan yan. Thorn Rose, Retribution, lahat na. Lahat ng klase ng burst damage yung gusto mong makita. Pwede niya ibigay. At kaya niya tanjahin yun. Cool. Depende sa kanyang damage output. And so, hindi niya kinakaya si Renjo dito. Oo, oh, malang kumbaga. Parang Exorcist. Pinato pa nga si Pokemon. Karakachi mo na naman. At eto si Pokemon na naman ang pinaka-target. Pero hindi nga siya tutumba. And speaking of tutumba, mukhang no, tutumba dito si Soul, pero grabe ang damage pa to may execution in! And girl, potato, Kiel. sila ang target dito ni Kiel, pero Kiel forced to go out. Grabe yung, grabe yung ruta niya dun. Parang, grabe yung ruta niya dun. Nakita mo ba yun? Oo, oh, parang naka-GPS to. Naka-GPS. No? Yubiko, pagdating sa ganyan. Man. Never ka pwedeng mawala. Sabi sa kanya ng GPS niya doon, pagka-dash mo kayo, ano, pagka-dash mo doon kay Pokemon, turn left, tapos turn right. Si Chaknu, nakahuli ng isang, nakahuli ng isang member dito. Soul goes down, Pokemon goes down, and Kiel VJ wants more! Definitely wants more! And kinagat siya ni Kichu doon. Masyadong mabilis palibasa, naka-smart 5G. Sobrang bilis talaga ang pasok doon ni kuya mo Kiel VJ, pero nakagat eh. Kumbaga, sa soob, alam mo yung pag tumakbo ka ng mabilis sa aso, mas nalo ka hahabulin. Mm -hmm. Pero sa side track, walang kayo sinolok ilin yun, tumak si Soul sa top. Oh, Ay, hi. nako. Alam mo, tama. Alam mo, pag-usapan Sino natin yan. Sinolok, sinolok ilin yung Selina, yung Benedetta. Gano'ng kakalupit para magawa mo yun? At yung Encho dito, naiwakasan lahat ng bullets. Pero yung last bullet pala ay tatama pa rin. Nagantay si Potato na mahawakan ng alis para straight line hindi niya kailangan mag-isip kung saan niya itapot. Oo, 
Ayan, kung po yun yung team mo na pag hindi pa tumama, eh, kasalanan mo na yun. Wala nang slow, na snare pa nga. And potato, he lands all of the bullets at mukhang papasukin din na si Ken BJ. Bato to execution in! At gusto niya lang talaga mag-take down nung Ooh. ganong mga Sakit. minions. Pero, wow, Evos, JPN, tatakbo lang sila. And seems to me na mas magiging maganda para sa kanila yung pag-take down ng turrets at pag-control ng mapa. Yeah. Again, bumabalik tayo sa signature playstyle ni Ibos SG, yung constant pressure sa objectives. And this is where you start seeing the benefits of having an Alice. Kahit hindi ganun kaganda yung start niya sa laning stage, the, the presence, no? yung threat, na kapag nag-objective sila, may isang hero na, big, na pwedeng bigla ang pumasok against Execration. Mm -hmm. And Jack 2 going in, ladies and gentlemen. At oh, ang dami oh, wow! yung niya. And Kelra, Salmon Force, hinahabol si Potato, and Potato can get out. JPL ang pinaka next target para sa kanila and Jack 2 yung hinahabol Ooh. kanina siya na ang nahahabol pabalik at tatakas na sila doon keeping the casualty slow na wala man sa kanila si Eto Max pero nakuha isa pa pero sinamahan mo pa ng isa makulit makulit pumasok pa ulit at binigyan binigyan ng execration and execration ha akala mo malapit ng bumagsak si Jack no? pero hindi siya bumagsak ng walang gante flicker out binalik no, binalibag po, sa buong tropa Pokemon na naman at nadami sana na pwede puntahan ni Pokemon doon kaso hinakangan lahat ni Eto Max Nako. and execration they definitely control the tempo right now 3k gold lead and a 7k ay 7 kill lead as well for execration at nakatata ng third end sa kanila din napunta yeah honestly this is something that you would expect on the side of execration whenever they get joined in Selena and gusto ko yung item build up ni Renzi ha? yung uh, brute force breastplate first, uh, breastplate first item siya yung kumaga parang CCTV naman this time around hindi na si Chaco kasi ang trabaho ni Chaco dito is to set up and make sure na may mapapatay kagad sila sa side ng EVOS SG kaya ang ganda nung play niya kanina nung ma uh, akala, akala natin Execration yung lugi. Pero pumasok pa si Chak, sabi niya, ah, kala nyo, di ako lalaban, ha. Tingnapon niya pabalik si Potato para maabot siya ni KLBJ at ni Kedra. Slowly but surely, yung members dito ng EVOS SG, kumukuha sila ng Torrel, left and right, habang si Renjo naman, kinokontrol niya itong baba para makuha yung oh, mga turrets. Renjo? This looks like the second turret at 1/4 HP. Hindi pa tutumpa dito, pero sabi nila Kelra, ah, sige, may sumagot doon. Kunin na natin itong nasa taas at palitin na natin ang mundo ng Evo's SG. Dabi, kunwari na lang, hindi ko nakita yung holy baptism na yun. But right now, there is a fight happening, ladies and gentlemen. Evo Zone, <laughs> next target, Kelra, is going crazy sa mga bagay na ginagawa niya dito. And I feel, I feel like Eve was SG, yeah. they could have gotten that fight. Kaso hindi talaga tumama yung Holy Baptism ng Rafaela. If they got Kenra early with that ultimate, that could have been a different story. Pero nabigyan ng free reign si Kenra dahil nga dun sa hindi tumama ultimate, Zaman Force na pag, only dash, only damage. And kita naman kung gano'n nakasakit si Kenra at this part of the game. 5-0-4 on Harit. This is a dominating performance coming out from Execration, Evo's SG. Considering na sobrang ganda ng start nila, it seems to me na hindi talaga nila mahawakan yung kalamangan na meron sila pagdating sa early game, papuntang mid-game. Yeah, medyo, eh, medyo nakikita din kasi natin yung playstyle ng Evo's SG. They're really Oy, not good. Oy! Tinamaan na oh. naman! Sa pool, isa pa! Naman. Oh. Ay, mukhang may takas. Safe na, safe na. Epas siya doon, epas siya. Pero munti ka na naman in Renzio. Makatakas oh, kaya siya dito. Final bullet pa ito, ma'am. But still, fact remains, kahit matake down yung si Renzio, there, there is still pressure on other sides of the map. And, mapansin ninyo, it takes a lot of resources. Ang daming resources na nasasayang. Kapag tinitake down mo ang isang Uranus at full HP. Yeah. And again, we, we go back to the idea na Si Evo's SG, hindi nila talaga playstyle na kailangan nila protectan si Potato. As much as possible, they want to be the ones who are pre putting the pressure against Execration. But then again, you are playing into Assassin's. Actually, ang daming pwedeng pampatay ng Execration to anybody on the side of Evo's SG. Kapag kinamakan ka ng araw, patay ka. Kapag nahuli ka ni Chakno, patay ka. Kapag nakita ka ni KLBJ, patay ka rin. So, ang daming options na Execration to get pickups. And at the same time, yung team fight nila, lamang pa sila kasi yung team fight ng Evo's SG, it's an, it's an Alice. And you naturally just lose to a Harit. And looking at the stats right now for Evo's SG, I feel it good. Hindi dapat sila pumulangin sa damage. But then again, the Benedetta is 0 for 0 Dapat hindi sila kinukulang sa damage dito. They have two supports, sure. Pero meron silang Benedetta. 
Kaso nga lang, 0-4-0. The moment na hindi magkaroon ng maraming items, or at least two items on time, ang isang Benedetta, eh medyo kukulangin talaga ang damage. Even when you land the Alexo final blow. Mm -hmm. But you do have to remember, late game potential, there is some in EVO's SG. The Alice is there. Considering pa na talagang kailangan pang i-set up, kailangan pa talagang patagalin yung laro para sa kanila ngayon. But for the side of execution, they do have the Harit. Meron pa silang kill VJ dito at eto Max na kayang mag-pick up ng kahit sino at, moment, at certain moments and si Chak too. Pwede pa siya maghain ng kills para sa teammates niya. This might be dangerous for execration. They will be securing this Lord, pero konti na lang eh. That could have been a 3v5 or a 3v4 for EVOS SG, pero hindi nila kinuha. They didn't risk it. Yeah, things will about to be become worse for EVOS SG. Na pick up na yung Divine Glaive kay Kelrad. That Harith, yung damage output itong taong to, it's gonna hurt a lot on the side of EVOS SG. Yeah, this all tumatakbo, tinatakbuhan niya talaga at yung EVOS SG, hindi na sila lumalayo doon sa kanilang mga, doon sa kanilang base. Alam nila na sobrang daming pick of potential na meron niya yung execution na isang maling tapak niyo lang, literal, kaya kayo pasabugin. And Renjo gets out, oh. pero nahuli sa likod si Potato at hindi ganun katagal yung pagkaka-disable sa kanya. Kenra, ayan, nakagantay ng isa. Bagsak dito si Alice at mukhang Tore ang susunod nila. And that's a one for Aro, one. Aro, Aro. Aro, wala namang nangyayari. Wala namang pala. Wala namang nangyayari. Ang bahala, ang bahala. Ang bahala. Practice oh. lang. Oh, yeah. Kinagat lang. Konting pagpasarap. Oh. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you can see, there is a Lord going for the turret doon sa may taas. And unti-unti, uh, unti-unting nawawalan dito ng space. Ang Umaka. side of EVOS SG at tumama na naman kay Soul Pero Soul is much more ready Sa mga ganyang areas Kumbaga parang may arrow to the heart Laging may arrow to the soul naman dito Sa ating game Grabe si Ito Sobrang mas. lalim naman eh. Sobrang lalim Imagine mo dong Sobrang lalim nung abisal arrow Lumulusot na sa puso Diretsong kaluluwa na Ganong, ganong asintado si Ito Max mm -hmm. Execration They are just lurking the area. Kung baga, ito yung pinakalamang nila para sa akin eh. Like, meron din naman ganito yung side ng Eagles SG. Pero I feel for execration, yung freedom na meron din sa mapa ngayon. Parang ang dali maglagay ng abyss and trap. Para talaga makita yung mga tao sa paligid. Pero si Chaco na yung pinakalikod. And they're just gonna, they're just gonna back off. Ayaw nila mag-engage. Disengage lang sila. I mean, at this point, execration, they're just looking to get all the resources on the side of Eagles SG. Kapag may tinama ng araw, we go for it. Kapag may lumabas at natala na ng chakto, we go for it. Pokemon! Naku po, meron siyang crunch yung dito, pero this might be a disaster for Eagles SG. Tara po, mapasok! Yung pa na hindi tatama, pero wala ko silang pakialam doon. Renjo and the others, they go in. Binato pa ni chakto si Renjo palabas para save siya. Two members on the side of Eagles SG down. Renjo and the others, andito sila sa area. And si Selena, nasa labas. Bato lang siya ng bato ng pana oh. at hindi na naman tatama pero those are good arrows kasi daging na sa zone out oh. lagi na isolate yung ibang members ito the side ng EVOS SG at eto na si Ken BJ going oh. in Phantom Execution Ubus. tumaba sa karamihan Ubus. and that is going to be it walang buhay dito para sa side ng EVOS SG and execration they take the series with a 2-0 malinis na malinis gentlemen Malinis ang Pilipinas ngayon, mga kapatid. 2-0 din kanina. 2-0 din ngayon. Blacklist International 2-0. Execration.